The Vinewood Members Only Exclusive Upper Class Car Club. That is right. This club is the newest addition coming with our new GTA San Andreas update that comes out in four days from now on Tuesday. Not only are we getting all of these new things for the DLC, we're also getting tons of new quality of life improvements, but we're also now getting the Vinewood Car Club. Now, you've probably heard, or maybe you haven't, that this new car club is for GTA Plus members only. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, listen, I'm not on console or oh, I don't have GTA Plus. This doesn't mean anything to me. I'm just going to leave. Well, don't, because I feel like people are missing the point in this. <laughs> I don't know. I, this is a bigger deal to me than I think a lot of people realize. I think this is going to have a big impact, not only on PC, but in the way that GTA 6, when it comes out, is going to be presented to us 100% without a doubt. So first of all, we're going to talk about what this is, and then we're going to talk about the importance of this, not only for console, not only for PC, but GTA 6 as well. So introducing the Vinewood Car Club, a members-only destination and the inaugural offering from the Vinewood Club. The new premium service in Los Santos for GTA Plus members artfully recycling the glamour and sophistication of Vinewood's glory days into a contemporary brand to be enjoyed around the world. On June 13th, GTA Plus members on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S will be granted entrance into this exclusive association for the city's upper crust. Beyond the opportunity to rub elbows with fellow elites, the Vinewood Car Club has big plans for an expanding roster of special benefits catering to its own growing audience clientele, I should say. So this is going to be a new building. So as you can see in this picture right here, the Vinewood Car Club, I mean, how high and mighty and exclusive is it when you have something that's located at the docks? You know what I mean? <laughs> like this isn't in their hills with all the glitz and glamour and money. They have located this in the docks in a warehouse. So glitz and glamour, I don't know about that. But anyway, let's move on. The first of these perks to roll out on June 13th is an all-access pass to the Vinewood Car Club, a new location for the members of the Vinewood Club where you'll have access to a curated stock of distinct vehicles to test drive, order to your location, and use while in free mode and purchase at an exclusive discount for 20% off or more. You can also inspect the complimentary GTA Plus vehicles inside the Vinewood Car Club and claim it directly from that location. So as you can see from this picture right here, so you're going to be able to walk in here, walk around, have a look at the cars, and whatever vehicles are in here, you can either purchase for 20% off, or you can just rent them, essentially. You could just borrow them for free and go drive them around when you're playing in free mode. So, I mean, I do think it's a cool thing, especially for lower level players that have nothing but want to be able to run around the map and have some fun. Um, but I do genuinely think that this is just the beginning of something that is going to be way bigger than this. And this also kind of makes sense now, especially since we talked about yesterday um, when they were saying how they're taking away some vehicles from the, the car listing websites like Southern San Andreas Autos or the Luxury or Legendary Autos. They're taking some vehicles out of there. They say that it's to get rid of clutter, but it's probably going to be so they can put them in here. Let's be honest. Located behind the doors of an unassuming industrial warehouse on Elysium island the vinewood car club's interior features a garage built with automotive enthusiasts in mind to showcase the covetable vehicles members and non-members alike can marvel at the roped off podium space meticulously lit for optimum car display while surveying an overview of each vehicle's most alluring features so right there it says members and non-members can go inside and look at this thing but only members can rent these cars or take these cars out and also get a 20% discount. Now, that is incredibly interesting, and we are going to be talking about why that's important here in a minute. As a GTA Plus member, you'll be at liberty to utilize the Vinewood Car Club's rotating selection of vehicles at your leisure and convenience in free mode, either by dropping into the car club and driving one out, or by using the interaction menu to order your chosen ride directly to your current location. So while you're out and about in free mode, you've destroyed all your vehicles, and you're like, you know what, I need more. There's probably going to be inside your interaction menu now 
it'll say Vinewood Car Club. If you're a GTA Plus member and you'll be able to click on that, you see all the cars and then just have one of them delivered directly to you. GTA Plus members will also allow you to purchase each of these vehicles outright at an exclusive discount, which we know is 20% off, as well as claim the Vinewood Club reward vehicle for each free month. So you're going to get a free vehicle each month with this. The Vinewood Car Club opens June 13th with just a taste of what's to come as the Vinewood Club's facilities and privileges will continue to expand, keep continue to expand, offering GTA Plus members members new opportunities to congregate and access exclusive additional benefits. This isn't about giving GTA Plus members some more good stuff as a thank you. This is about making people that don't have a GTA Plus membership feel like inferior. Like they're going to feel jealous. They're going to feel left out. That's what this is all about. It's about making people that don't have it want it. Now, let's talk about this, right? This is something that is incredibly, incredibly interesting. Now, for me, would I get this? Um, obviously, if you're going to be getting 20% discounts on vehicles, this is something that a lot of people are going to want to do. Why would I not buy into this for like $4, $5 a month and I can get, you know, all of these discounts on these vehicles versus having to pay full price for them? And also, I can guarantee you in the future, I'm not talking about any time right now, but maybe in GTA 6, that there's going to be exclusive vehicles within here that you can only buy if you have one of these memberships. Now, let's talk about the reason that this is very important, whether or not you're on console and have GTA Plus or not. Rockstar right now, I've said this in the past so many times, they are using GTA Online as a GTA 6 beta. We are literally a beta test right now for GTA 6. So what I mean by that is they're trying out all of these businesses to see if we like them, if we don't like them, like all of the DLCs we're getting. Keep in mind, they're releasing these DLCs. A lot of them are new things like the the taxi business. They wanted to see our reaction to that. Okay, how do people work with this? What do people say that they want? What do they like? What do they not like? And I guarantee you they're looking at all of that information to be implemented into GTA 6. Same thing with like the Acid Lab business, right? It's a business that you essentially get for free, but then you have to purchase upgrades for that business in order for it to be more profitable. So they're testing different things out. Okay, so here's a business that you have to pay for. Let's say like a special cargo warehouse. How do the community interact with that versus a business like the Acid Lab where we essentially give it to them for free, but then they have to upgrade it and do things to be able to run it as a, at a profit. All of this information is going to be going into GTA 6. Now, the reason I say that this Vinewood Car Club is so important is keep in mind, all games nowadays need to have profitability after the initial purchase. So what do I mean by that? Obviously, when this game releases, it's probably going to be like in, in dollars, it's probably going to be like $60, $70. And that's the initial payment. Now, in the past, GTA tried to, well, GTA 5 from the get-go, tried selling us shark cards. And don't get me wrong, GTA and Rockstar, they have made millions, if not billions, on shark cards. They, you know, <laughs> they prey on people that are newer and unexperienced and, you know, can't figure out how to make money fast, so they sell them shark cards. And I think over the years, they've realized that, okay, this is, even though they're there's 100% they're going to have shark cards in the new one, let's be honest. But I think they've realized we need something that's a bit more sustainable because once people get to a certain skill level, they're no longer buying shark cards. So what they're trying to do here, especially with GTA Plus, is its subscription plan. They want you to spend X amount of money a month. So that way, even after you've had your initial purchase, you're going to be spending money a month, so they're going to be getting money from you every month. And that is something that is 100% going to be implemented into GTA 6, as well as it's probably not going to be called a battle pass, but it's going to be something that is incredibly similar to a battle pass. I mean, this new Vinewood Car Club already, if you take a step back and look at it, looks like a battle pass. It's something that every month you're going to have a rotating selection of things inside there that you can purchase and it's going to be you're going to have a lot of exclusive stuff in there this is literally <laughs> the beginnings to a battle pass in my opinion and i think we can just expect that it's going to happen in gta 6 and would i be happy with that would i be happy with a battle pass in gta 6 in all honesty i think it would cause a lot of drama in the community that people have to pay um, even though this is a normal thing now, this is a normal thing in a lot of video games, battle passes are completely normal. 
I think a game like GTA, I think people would be, there would be, oh, there'd be riots. But this is definitely a test. They already have GTA Plus out and they've probably been like, okay, we have this GTA Plus. It hasn't been doing too much stuff. What can we do to get more people into GTA Plus? So they're launching this Vinewood Car Club and the way that they market it is like, oh, you're, you're a GTA Plus member. Look at all this new stuff that we're giving you as a thank you. But in reality, this is to try and get more people into GTA Plus. They're trying to figure out ways to get more people into to it and eventually they're gonna hit a sweet spot they're gonna be like okay this is what this is what did it this is what got everyone on board with gta plus this is what we need to implement into gta 6 this is 100 percent like i say a beta this is a testing ground for everything that's coming in gta 6 and i would not be surprised if all of these members only things that they're doing for gta plus will be implemented to everyone with a subscription service in gta 6 so watch this space. Watch this space very closely. See what they're doing with GTA Plus. Whether or not you're on console or PC, you need to watch what they're doing with GTA Plus because this is something that's going to be a huge part of GTA 6. And I think it's really important to just, just keep an eye on it. Just keep an eye and see what they're doing because it's 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 going to happen. It's going to happen. But anyway, if you're on console, let me know what you think of this. Do you have GTA Plus? If you do, let me know in the comment section down below because I feel like you're a rare breed in yourself. Are you a member of this Vinewood Car Club? Are you excited for this? Do you pay for GTA Plus? And if you're not, if you're on PC, do you, uh, what do you think about it? What do you think about the car club? Do you agree with me that this is things that are going to be implemented into GTA 6? I would love to have a conversation with all you guys in the comment section down below. It would seem that GTA and Rockstar are pushing out updates like this daily right now. Well, they're not updates, it's information. They're giving us a drip feed of information before this update goes live on Tuesday the 13th. So I would only expect... We're going to get even more information tomorrow. Probably a second trailer, if I'm being honest with you. But anyway, as always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a great start to your weekend. Happy Friday to your faces. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.